So, so let's say that you've now know where you want to get started. You've picked the role your conversational AI is going to take, uh, which part of the business, who it's going to speak to, what are the top contacts it's going to help with, and we know we've verified they can solve a problem and take an action. So how do you start training your conversational AI? Which is very different than learning. We'll talk about that separately. Training your conversational AI, uh, I conceptually break it down into three uh, clear categories. The first is language. Your conversational AI needs to know the domain language for the role that's taken on. For example, if you say the word balance, we're not talking about my ability to stand on two feet, if you happen to be a banker, you're talking about the amount of money in a particular account. If I say the word quote, we're not talking about quoting me right now, but rather potentially about an insurance policy proposal that an insurance company may have provided. So the first thing you need to start with, training, identify, training material for language. That means examples. Most powerful conversation AI agents will use natural language examples to recognize, oh, if it sounds like this, they must mean this and that. If it sounds like they're talking about a balance, they want to look up a specific account, I should ask them which account. Language-based learning. The second example in language is data. It's called entities in the industry, uh, but generally what it means is, hey, I convey my intent, my goal, but then I say, hey, I'm going to pass you the account number for the account I want to balance on. The account number is a type of entity uh, that's typically bounded and well-structured specific to that domain. If you've now learned how to speak the language of that domain, you then need to now know the process. Because we keep saying conversational AI is about dialogue, about interactive, about solving a problem. It's not about being rigid. So if a conversational AI is actually going to learn the process to look up the balance for an account or help you get a quote on insurance policy or reset your password, it needs to learn the standard operating procedure that a human would follow to solve this problem. So the second process is really the process a human would take to do something. And it should be a dialogue process, meaning what are the questions you should ask of the customer? What are the decisions it should make? And then to the third part, what are the back end systems it needs to talk to? And that's where is our third area of knowledge. What APIs do I need to integrate with? Are they microservices or are they macroservices? We don't need to what they mean, but the gist of it is, do I have backend systems that the conversational AI can query in real time to get relevant information to help it follow the process and use the language it knows to help solve a problem? Those three domains, if you address language knowledge, and by the way, the language part can be very interesting, it's reusable, so often you will see conversational AI just already have some knowledge about industry languages for certain industries that are specialized in. Uh, you then focus on the business process. It's like the training material you give any contact center agent. And the last part is your API, which is like any computer interface you would give to a contact center agent to go solve their role. Those three items should help you sufficiently now prepare your conversational AI for the new and exciting role it would take on.